Here we are. Good evening, you guys. It's like 6.20, and man, daylight savings. Yeah. I don't love it. I don't love it being dark all the time. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way, actually. But we just got done working out, and we're going to Chipotle right now to have some dinner. I don't exactly know what I'm feeling yet. I was really thinking tacos, like the three tacos. It sounds delicious. Or I'm going to do a bowl. I'm definitely going to really do a weird. bowl. Yeah. Anyways, then we are going to go to Walmart and do some Christmas shopping, which I am super excited about and definitely sharing all the things with you yeah. guys we're trying to be on top of it and shop early this year yes because i've heard so many things about shipping and all of that like being super delayed and i also hate how crammed it can feel when you're like budgets like a little tighter and you're yeah. like oh my gosh i still have this many people to buy and for. i have this many paychecks yeah. to get it yeah it's easier i feel like i've already gotten some stuff for nevea but the boys are the ones that I'm really looking for and um, family and stuff too. And Ethan's brother is actually moving in, moving to Minnesota next week. So we're gonna find some stuff for them too. Hopefully Ethan's parents will show you. I'm excited. There we go. Okay. All right, you guys, I am looking at this for Ethan's parents. So they are big, big coffee drinkers, but they, I wanted to get them a Keurig because I felt like they like something really simple, you know? Ethan's parents are definitely more, I don't even know, what would you say? Like, they didn't, they're not, they electronically, didn't with a, yeah, a lot, they didn't even have a TV growing up, so electronically, they're not good at electronic stuff. So, right. but they like the easy, like, coffee brewing thing, and I thought, like, a Keurig would be so simple for Ethan's mom, but also, if they drink, like, a pot of coffee, you or can if make they have that guests. too. Like if yeah. you have guests, you can make a whole pot, which is cool. Yes. So that's what we're looking for. And then I am looking for the boys um, the, for their big gift asked for a VR. So I'm going to be looking at that here. That's one of those like virtual reality things, which actually makes me kind of excited because I've seen videos like TikToks of people yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, I've also seen people out. like punch their TVs and oh, stuff. Oh my gosh. Not realizing. Can you, can you imagine if that was gray? I'd be like, no. we'd have to like supervise as they were doing it. Yeah. Like don't throw anything, but that looks really exciting. So we are going to go in there and go look now. Forgot to mention you guys that that Keurig is $20 off right now. It's like early, early. nine and yeah. it's on sale for 79. It's like early, early Black Friday deal. So definitely snagging that baby. They have it. Get it. So $20 off. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Is it bigger than you thought? Or is it just because... Yeah, I just don't know if it's like... The way Keurigs are normally... I wonder if it's a bigger like reservoir type thing. I think this would be such... This is... I wish I seen this like a long time ago. This is such a good idea. Totally. Walmart Christmas decoration though, you guys, is so stinking cute so i bought cute. that big wooden sign that's really cute by my door last year from walmart mm -hmm. also you guys update i just asked Ethan. Ooh, i just asked ethan about his mom and dad's like coffee pot thing and they literally just have a coffee thing and he puts a filter in it and pours hot coffee over it so i'm really excited i'm gonna get the keurig and then get on like a couple boxes of different keurig cups too the famous Walmart reindeer. How oh, stinking cute. Pine cone tails this this year. guy is really cute. I'm getting him. He's really cute. He has a sweater. He's adorable. I love Christmas. I can't even handle it. I love it so much it makes me so happy. <laughs> Seriously love. All right, you guys. I'm debating a mantle thing. And I don't know if I should get this one or this one. I mean, the one to the left, I guess, is more fun. This it's, one? It's cute. Yeah, I think so too. I think I might get this one. I like this too, though. Super cute. Mm -hmm. We found it. Now I have to figure out, okay, we're gonna get one of these and then pretty sure we have to get a plugger thing too. Uh, we should probably, there's like a case, like a holding case. This seems so fancy, you guys, holy moly. And then we have to figure out a game. Are these the games to this, do you think? Me neither. 
We gotta ask somebody. It. I had to pay for it right away. So now we're gonna go get something for my mom. One of those, um, what are they called? Like a Theragun thing, like my hair. Oh, I cannot wait to wash it. Oh my gosh. All right, we have made it to the beauty section, which you guys know I love. Um, Nevea has actually been really getting into makeup. So I wanna get her some more basic items that I think are just good for all, like beginner makeup and I will be linking everything below but NYX is a great great brand I think it's awesome because Walmart has a whole bunch of affordable items and so you can get everything here so um I am picking out this palette for her and no they will not be watching this video I'm gonna try to hide them from watching this video but this palette is such a great for beginners um it has all the neutral sh shadows that you can get. Hey guys, I picked out just kind of a smorgasbord of stuff. She does have some makeup that I've given her already, but first of all, these are amazing. Rachel can concur. Yeah. I use these for my clients. Rachel has very sensitive skin, and these are super good for sensitive skin and just like wiping down the makeup. She needed a cleanser, so I'm getting her one of those. I think these are... Clean and Clear is just a good... <laughs> Did you ever use Clean and Clear? So did I. And this one too. I remember it smelled like oranges. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then mascara. I love this mascara. It reminds me better than Sex Mascara by um, Too Faced, but this is way cheaper. These are great beginner brushes, and I love that it just comes with basically everything that you really need for being a beginner. Like I said, this eyeshadow palette, Wet n Wild foundation, it's just a good one. It's not super full coverage. She doesn't have anything to really cover, but she wants foundation. So getting her that and this because she has been really into fake nails. Okay, you guys, I saw this too and had to get it because this is just throwback for me and I had to get it for a good stocking stuffer for her. All right, that added up so quickly. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yes, we got like all the candy to try, you guys. Uh, we're gonna do a little taste this test. creamer that you... Yes. This creamer is so good. They I wanted to try it last year and yeah. I could not find it anywhere. So. It's frosted sugar cookie, the elf one, and it is mm -mm. So, all the things, you Think guys. Think about the Keurig for your parents. I'm excited about it. Yeah? They watch your channel, Court. They do not. They, they, they do watch, I don't think they watch YouTube. Probably not. I don't think so. This is what it is, you guys. It is quite I big. Idea. I'm they super. They have a box of K-cups and yeah. they use them up, they can just do regular and then maybe for birthdays and stuff just, just randomly keep, buy them Keurig cups. Just, yeah, just keep the K cups for when it's just one of them at home. Plus I think it has the reu reusable K cup thing probably in it. I would guess. I don't know that Otherwise for a fact but this is a good idea. Brilliant. High five. Keurig. Also, did you see what else Rachel? You want to show them the, the other thing we got? Mmm, I put it in the bathroom because Grant came down. Mmm. Get sized too. What's this? Hurt! You got fat it? I got it. I'm excited. I know. Are you excited? We need Gugan. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Okay, you guys. We got some ran Randy. <laughs> Random Christmas candy. So, this is, we love gummy bears. Hard and I don't like the like soft gummy bears. Oh, these feel like I like them a little hard. Good and hard. Gingerbread Oreos. This has nothing to do with Christmas, but it's new. I feel like. Well, it's candy canes. True. Candy cane. Fun Fetty candy cane. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Rachel couldn't even speak when she saw this. <laughs> she <laughs> didn't even the word candy cane. I was like, this Fun Fetty. <laughs> Those. <laughs> Those are it. And then, of course, Nerd Rope candy. Uh, wait. Holiday. Holiday. Okay, let's try it. Should we try this last? Because we know this is going to be good. Yeah. I forgot one in my car, but... I'm going to... You can have that. I'm going to make Ethan close his eyes when he eats this one. Okay. Oh. What do we think a fun fatty candy cane is going to taste like? I know these are. Really hard. Uh -huh. I love hard candy. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my gosh. Really hard? Mm-hmm. It's gonna hurt my TMJ. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. The easiest. Good? I like the flavor of it, yeah. This is apple. 
Apple. Mm hmm. So weird. Um, yeah. Are you indifferent about it? It doesn't have like any flavor. It tastes kind wow, of like- Wow, we're dumb. The sprinkles is on the wrapper. Oh, wait. No, I swear it Oh, looks... there is little sprinkles. Okay, I was like, yeah, there is a little bit of sprinkles. I was like, I know this. I saw some on the wrapper, but it tastes like nothing. Like vanilla. Sure enough. It's very bland. What we got? And it tastes nothing Come like Come over funfetti. here. Funfetti canes. I was going to have you close your eyes, but- like funfetti. No. It doesn't. I was oh I was wondering gosh. what these would taste like. Okay. Come over here, Eve. Join us. I'm thinking my big butt can fit. And can. We can squish. It just tastes like a vanilla candy cane. Yeah. A vanilla candy cane. Very bland. Yeah. Don't buy it. Absolutely not. Nope. Mm. It's not I'm bad. I'm going to weigh it's in and just... say I'd buy these before I buy regular candy canes. Because I peppermint? can't stand peppermint. What? You're Spearmint crazy. I can do. I don't like peppermint. What? What? Criminal. They're just very plain. Sugar plum? What? This is sugar plum. Ooh, they are really hard. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. I want. Oh my God. It's gonna hurt my jaw. No, that's what I said. Bo just does it right. I don't like the mm -hmm. cherry very much. That doesn't Nobody surprise me. Cherry. Yeah, I don't like cherry flavor. She knows mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I like cherry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like those like little the cherries. True fruit cherries too. Yeah. And even the Haribo cherries, you know what I'm talking about? Mm. These are really hard to chew. However, they are just so good. Try plum. We're probably making gross noises in the vlog. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely chewing. Gingerbread Oreos. Oh, I'm the weight on this Haribo. Do you hear yeah. that? Do you guys hear that? <laughs> The white one has like no flavor. <gasps> oh, they, they look, I feel they like, look like they have like peppermint cake. in it. Really? Do they? What are these little sprinkles? They might. With sugary crystals. Mm. Oh my gosh, yum. They smell so good. Mm, they do smell good. Full snap. Mm. <gasps> they do have little sugar crystals in them. Crickles. Oh, I said. Crickles. Sugar crickles. <laughs> I didn't know if I would be able to taste it. Those are mm. yum. Oh, <laughs> these are good. These are. I'm giving so them a nine. If you like gingerbread, mmm, yeah. yeah. This isn't on the crumble scale though. This is on no. the Oreo scale. It's Oreo a nine. scale. What's your favorite Oreo? Birthday cake. Hands mm. down. Wow. Nine and a half. You guys, these are so good. It's like thick frosting too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love that. Okay, Oreo. Not good. Out of everything so far, this is my favorite. Look what else we got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's the flavor? Holiday. It doesn't mm. really say. This is a different flavor, Nerds. Look I it. love the, actually, I love the Holiday Nerds. You do? Yeah, they come in the box too, and I always put them as a stocking stuffer. Mmm. Okay, Eve. Do you want this one or a different one? No, I feel like I only taste gingerbread though. Like that was mm -hmm. like, it's a very lingering flavor. It's very strong. That's why I didn't even taste it. Uh-huh. I don't know. We gotta it's wait a little bit. Till the, I know, I feel like I need to wait. Goes away. I want another gingerbread cookie. Me too, it's good. <clears throat> you guys. Do it. So good.